Hello and welcome, people of the YouTubes. This has been requested a fair amount. UFO Aftermath, the first of the UFO series of games, and I believe the first XCOM clone that I ever purchased and played through. And honestly, it's a good one. It does things in a slightly different format, but if you know XCOM, you know how this will go. The story is basically the world is kind of doomed already. Most people, most people, as I say, macro scale life has been wiped out. We are the survivors, and we're trying to work out what the heck's happening and why all the mutants have appeared. There are crazy mutations which are basically wandering the earth, almost zombie-like, and we'll go and experience those in a little bit. For now, though, I believe I have to set up the game and make a new profile, so... Shadow LP. We're playing on normal, and we will be starting in America. There's a reason you start in America. It's the first of the scripted events takes place there. And if you don't get to it soon, missions get gradually more difficult if you don't deal with them quickly. Hence why starting in America is a usual thing. I think the second one is somewhere in Russia. The second scripted one. But hopefully by that point we will expand it into um, back of Asia and hopefully we'll be able to get there without too much time loss. Starting in Europe puts you at a real disadvantage usually. Starting in Asia is okay. But we'll see how this goes. So, we're going to play on normal. America. New game. Let's play. We are going to run the tutorial mission just so I can show off some of the features and I can get used to the controls again. Because it's been a little while since I've played this. Yes, sir. In the aftermath of the alien attack, only a handful of people survived. By hiding in bunkers and sealed bases by freak accident, Malcolm McLean, who shall be renamed at some stage, is one such survivor. Also, there's a slight issue with mousing to the right, but I can do that with a was ad stuff, so that's fine. Armed with his old Colt and a shotgun, he picks his way through the once familiar city that is now littered with the remains of the dead and inhabited by strange monsters called transgenants. Your job is to guide them to the other side of the town, outlined in on the area in green, which we have an arrow to. That is a base. We will work our way there eventually. So, carry on. First of all, to get on the view, uh, mouse wheel in that direction. I can hold the mouse button and do things. Nothing moves while we're at that. We sort of have real time and also pause time. So, needing to get over to there, I suppose the best thing we can do right now is to move over to here. Heads up. And we spot an enemy. Because Malcolm has spotted an enemy, time will stop. This is an automatic thing that happens. By pressing C, I can cancel any orders he's got, which I will be doing. And he's currently out of range of his shotgun. So we're going to have to move closer. You can stack orders up, so you can sort of have move, move, and eventually when it gets close enough, you'll see a range meter. So we just get that far. The important thing with this, though, is that with squad-based things, if we have paused, and we will cancel the orders here, you have to be careful about moving the whole squad at once, because they'll wait for the last person to move, and different people have different move rates. Okay, so currently, now 24%. The shotgun is extremely damaging. Malcolm earns his first kill. They don't usually have any loot. Actually, they, they usually will have loot, but not this time, because I don't think they start with weapons on the tutorial mission. If we go into the inventory screen, we can see what's on the... We can see it's the Danglefly we've killed. He has a medkit, he has a Colt, he has some pistols, and he does have some stuff. Okay, I've now asked him to reload, so he will do that. Ready. And we're going to move on. get there. Now, you notice there's a little blinking light over here. We will go and deal with that. By default, you men run. This is fast but noisy. We can sneak if we wanted to do... Where are we? There we are. So sneak movement. Or run move. Uh, this is an example of what happens when one of your men... Oh, uh... Yeah, so there is a wait button as well. Okay, and we have spotted somebody who's wounded. Occasionally, when they get shot and um, wounded, they will not quite bleed out, but they will be, be stranded there and likely killed by whatever has just dealt with us. That being said, I can now adjust my inventory, which will happen immediately once he does that. All done, sir. And now we can apply the med kit. We have a new man, Brian, who we will rename appropriately in a moment. Ready. 
Okay, so what I should do with you is get your shotgun out. Actually, we're going to go with a pistol for the moment. Because that's got slightly more range on it. Okay, fire modes. He's armed with this. We can change the fire mode from scatter shot, so he will basically fire... He will basically burst fire or aimed fire. We're going to keep them on aimed fire for the moment. Yes, sir. And they'll both move on. You now, you see, Big Brian up. is a faster person than him. And as you can see, this guy does have a gun. So cancel orders. We're just going to shoot from there. I'm under attack. I'm hit. I'm hit. Man down. Incapacity is first enemy. Um, it lies on the ground. We'll knock it up on its own. If we should finish it off, we can order an attack. Oh, Awaiting further orders. We, however, are quite interested in possibly capturing this thing. Not Ready. I think we can right now. So. Let's put your gun away. You kidding me? All done, sir. I'm sure there's you a way I can just me? move on and pick him up. How then? Maybe I can't do it in the tutorial, but I'm sure there was ways of doing it. Oh, well. Shotgun it is. Let's move on. I don't think there's too many more enemies here. Certain circumstances may need to tear down a wall or fence. We can just quick grenade to do that. We're not going to. We're just going to go and open the door. Ready. Door opened. I just kind of want to do this sort of movement. Because otherwise, you, you see, Brian will just move too fast. And then he'll have to wait there until uh, Malcolm gets to him. So by doing this sort of staggered movement with um, varying weapon speeds, we get to that. Then we saw enemies in the area met the objective by default. We will... Oh, meant to end the mission. Mission was successful. There we go. Okay, no, we gain no items. Both our soldiers level up. So the leveling screen. This is part of a game that I do enjoy. Um, we basically have six stats. Strength, Agility, Dexterity, Willpower, Intelligence, and Perception. And these give various bonuses to each of the weapons, the Defense, the Observation, and the other skills. Um, these are basically which type of weapons they're good at. Psi Power is not relevant for the moment, but will be later. Ability to withstand psionic attacks as well. Most psionics in this game, I will be honest, stun rather than kill. Still, it's not something you want your guys to be doing. Hit points is obvious, speed is obvious... Dodging is evasion, and sometimes that is relevant. A high evasion score prevents you from being blasted to pieces occasionally. Though, later in the game, it's not going to be relevant against rockets. Observation is very useful. Stealth prevents us from being spotted, which is always useful. Aliens is how much damage they do. And the ability to hit aliens. Medical is how good they are with medkits. Capacity is how much they can carry without being encumbered. So, in this case, Malcolm McLean is... A fairly average soldier with a poor willpower stat. So we could make him average across the board. Not usually advisable. I am going to improve his agility, though, and just get him up to a level to an average skill in rifles. This also builds up his dodging speed and throwing stats. Right, in this case, we have Brian, who has an excellent agility, which we can upgrade to heroic, making him especially good with rifles and with throwing things. Increases his speed further. We could raise his um, dexterity to average, which gives him slightly more stealth skills. Moves his hit points up by one. Strength gives him the hit points up as well. It could go perception, which increases his marksmanship. Intelligence, which increases psi power. Willpower gives him hit points as well. More capacity, more rifle skill. I think he needs rifle skills, so I think we're going to go in dexterity for now. I'm just going to turn the volume down once I can. Welcome, Commander. We are the Council of Earth. Yada, yada, yada. The game is paused for the moment, but I'm just going to go and see if I can adjust some volume settings. Fine. Fine. That'll do. Okay. So, welcome to the overworld. We have two bases. We have three types of base, though. There is the military base which is where we deploy troops from. We have an engineering base which makes things, and we can make a research base. If we look at R&D, well, there's nothing we can currently... Oh, there is development we can do. Okay, so UFO detection we are going to develop. So yeah, I'm remembering things. We need engineering bases to do developments, 
Um, but we need research bases to do research. We will have opportunities to add more territory and gain more bases. For the moment, though, this is the world. It all looks quite good to me, doesn't it? The good news is, at least with the error over the Arctic, we can get ourselves into Russia and Europe quite easily by going up. However, the bases are kind of semi-random based on the error we've seen, but we'll go over that when it happens. In the meantime, let's have a look at our squad, because there's other things we can do. We also have Nancy, who is our third trooper. Training. Now, to start with, each of your soldiers has no innate skills and abilities, but they can qualify for certain classes. If they have average strength, dexterity, and agility, they can go for soldier training, which gives them extra hit point, extra points of speed, extra rifles, and extra guns. Speaking of which, I'm just seeing what your actual skills are bit like at the moment. So as you can see, I'm probably going to go all rifles at the moment, because I don't like shotguns particularly in this game. They're too close, and if you have to... With the get enemies having guns in a lot of cases, shotguns, while they do a lot of damage, aren't really the best. We're going to send Malcolm McLean onto soldier training. I should also probably rename him. We will give you the call sign of the Gaspard. Actually, no. I don't know. You're the first commander. The Kung Pao is clearly your name. The Gaspard may come later. Right, Brian. Since you are nearly dead, we will give you the Trasian call sign. And Nancy, same on a marksman. I might have to give you something else here. Uh, let's have a look at what your other skills are like. Average medical, average capacity. I mean, really, it's handguns that you're good with. White mage. Okay, so we have our two. You always want to keep two soldiers available if possible. And you want to be... It's one of those games that kind of is deceptive in a lot of ways. You don't want to send everybody on missions unless you only have two. In which case, always send two. Because if one person gets down, you lose the mission. But they gain more experience if there's less of them. Which obviously make get us soldiers, which obviously is better than having a lot of bad ones. That's White Mage, which we just knew about anyway. So I did all that on the pause screen. So we move on. A new mission is available near Washington. Now I'm going to pause the game here. This is an expansion mission. If we go and do this, we will basically expand our territory and eventually find a base, which we'll have to go and clear. For now, though, we are going to accept this. We do have the option of delegating the mission to other forces, sort of allied to the council. You don't want to do this too often, for two reasons. Firstly, it doesn't level up your troops, and secondly, they tend to fail. <laughs> they tend to fail quite hard. So... Trazian and White Mage. We know Trazian is better with... Why well, is he's about the same? But let's clear out all of his stuff for now. Equipment. We want to give them... Oh, we only have shotguns. That's why I want handgun skills. Give them Uzis for the moment. Four lots of Uzi ammo. Should do for now. We do have a medkit, and I also have one grenade. That's usually about what I want to give here. We have light, and we have clothing. <coughs> Apologies. We have light armor, and we have clothing. Now, clothing, interestingly, has a lot of warp protection, but we don't have anything that... At this stage of the game, we really should not be encountering warp protection. That being said, light helm and heavy armor is probably the best for the moment. It does give them a slight speed reduction if they're because of the weight, but they both have reasonable capacities, so they should be fine here. Uh, meanwhile, you are also going to have this. One, two, three, four. Pretty much going to be equipped exactly the same. Okay. Let's move out. So that'll take them time. They teleport. They go from their bases. We also have two more missions that have just popped up. So if I pause the game here, we can see that this is an expansion. And this is an expansion too. I'm going to delegate this one. I'm going to hold off on um, the second one and possibly just deploy them straight to it. New mission is available near Seattle, but we'll go and deal with things in a moment. Now, the urgency goes up. You urgency is ultimately the difficulty. So, the plain point here is to not get too Look wounded. over there! This is a chomper. It does not have guns. It is thankfully okay. 
So, clear orders. Want to move slightly closer and then start shooting it. Look over there! That thing does have a gun. It's a cudgel. Now we also need to get a little closer, I think. I'd rather deal with the chomper right now, so. There we go. Well, what do we have here? We have a few chompers here, but we really need this thing to die. First fire on. Look over there. Yeah, burst fire we need because suddenly we're in trouble. This is where a shotgun would be helpful. We go back to single shot on you both and we'll try and deal with the cudgel. Yes. White mage, over to there. Okay, white mage will be able to start shooting the cudgel. Trazian will move a little closer and then go for it. Yes. Because now we're getting shot back. Ready, sir. Right, Trazian, move closer. Go for it. I'm in trouble. You've been hit. They got me. All right, Trazian will get a burst fire. They got me. I'm gonna have to move closer. I'm in trouble. This is actually really bad for us. They got me. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do a second mission if he's that wounded. Right. I've got plenty of ammo left, so go and do a trade. Yes. White Mage, cover. There's one. Dangle flies, and those do have guns. I'm regretting putting um, guess, our guests, our Kung Pao, on orders. that side of training. Right. Apply two sets of wound to yourself. Apply a third while we're at it. Okay. There is limited usage of that, so we're gonna have to be careful. I did it. Twenty-four. Alright, have a shot what twenty-four. Now, sir? Want you to move I a bit closer. Away. Okay, if you're just gonna do that, I'm gonna cancel that order, move you to there, and then I hear you. Okay, tracing yes, get a sir. burst shot now. He's out of commission. Okay, good. Now that thing is moving towards us. I think there's only chompers left. How many do I have to kill for this mission? Oh, whoops. Somewhere it'll tell us what the objectives are. Eliminate four. We've eliminated three so far. So we don't have to do them all. I probably will do it in this case if this is all that's left. Awaiting Awaiting for the orders. Okay, double burst. I have plenty of ammo left, so I can afford to wait on this. Ready, sir. Yeah, they have a lot of ammo. Yeah, they go with that. With many hit points, we need to do burst fire. Gonna continue. Mission was successful. One soldier was wounded. None of them will have to recuperate, so we're okay for that one. Now, showing capacity state 2, one soldier reached a new level, and we gained some stuff. Okay. So, Brian now levels up again. We want to improve his handgun skill if we can here. Because clearly that's something we're going to need. Um, perception, willpower. It's going to have to be dexterity, I think. It tells you to be fine, actually. That puts you to very good category in a few throwing things. It also increases your speed even further. But I think we'll go and stick with that. So make you good. We'll give you good dexterity. Right. Next up, we have this mission. We're going to accept this one, and I'm going to try and delegate this one. But I've now made it medium risk. Our team will go over and try and deal with that, and we will hopefully. Oh, they won a mission that was delegated to them. Awesome. They don't do that very often. Not as often as they should, anyway. Right, once we're done with this, we do need to get back. Yes, sir. Okay. The other downside is, of course, we are low on ammo now, so it? I'm going to have to go Ready, single sir. shots here. Or hope on grenades. Eliminate six. 
This might not be a good mission for us I here. I hear you. Awaiting further orders. Let's hope they're not all... There's one! Alright, dangleflies are okay to deal with, but we're going to have to get close. There's one! Okay, deal with the one in front of us first. Oh dear, there's a few of them. Thankfully, I've got the ammo to do this. We hope. He went down. Ready, sir. Okay, we've incapacitated three. Three more still to go. What now, waiting sir? for their orders. How much ammo you got left? You thankfully got a reload. Ready, sir. Not going to ask them to reload because, of course. Yes. Awaiting further orders. What now, sir? Awaiting further orders. Yes. Ready, sir. Tracing being quicker. Awaiting further orders. Awaiting further orders. Awaiting further orders. Awaiting further orders. There's a lot of awaiting orders in this game. Awaiting further orders. Yes, sir. Okay, let's move in. Don't want to count everything all at once because that's going to cause us problems. Unless, of course, we can grenade There's them. One. Okay, this is grenade time. I should probably go on grenade straight away, actually, but still. What is it? Ready, sir. Okay, our tracing goes yes. for that shot. That's why. I'm in trouble. Okay, and we got dangle fly behind him. They almost got me. All right, you're down. Deal with him. The good news with these Uzi single shotting is that I do at least have plenty of ability to get them uncon get them wounded. I haven't actually killed anything at this point, but I don't have to right now. I only have to kill one more, and I can do and I can call this mission. But yeah, going up to medium means I have to kill another two. If it went to extreme or the next level up, I'd have to kill eight. Kind of relying on their observational skills right now. But I think we should be okay. There's one. Got him. What are you armed with? That looks like a rifle of some kind. We need to be careful with this. Yep, it's going to fire back with something that's bigger than us. Okay, Trazian, advance. Yes. White mage. One. He's out of commission. Down. Okay, I'm going to end the mission now before we get blasted by the other guy. One soldier's gained a level. 652 experience points each. Incapacitated six enemies. No kills. And you have leveled up. Hit points definitely seems like a good way to go about this. Upgrading your handgun skill to excellent, though, is probably, for now at least, an okay decision. So there we go. Well, an entertaining start to things. We're three days in. I've done... had a few missions. We have a new mission available there, and some people have turned back from training. Congrats, Kung Pao. You've had an upgrade. You now have good rifle skill. You have good handgun skill. I can't equip any of them until they return and actually deposit them. But they're nearly there anyway, so I'm okay with that. Once they're back, we will look at the mission near Churchill and go... Grr. Okay, this is a recon mission, which I'm going to hold off on for the moment. Chopper arrives in base. Kung Pao, let's give you some equipment. We're then going to train Trazian, I think. It's probably worth looking towards what other classes I can train at. It's also no worth noting that anything they've already got an improvement in, they can't get a second improvement in. But soldiers is basically rifles, marksmen, observation, and capacity, which, you know, extra stuff is always helpful. 
Trazian then will go and do some of that. We'll leave Kung Pao and White Mage to continue the job. Let's clear all of those except giving him the armor back. So we have one decent rifle. Which we're going to equip. We will get chances to up getting more equipment as we go through the game, but for now it is limited. We do have a Glock, which has about the same range. This, though, is doing more damage, so that's fine. We'll keep that as is. Though I will pack you some extra ammo, just in case we need to continue. Speed down to average. Okay, there we go. So they're both at average speed, which is fine by me. They move at the same rate. Let's go and do this mission. Move out. New recruit is available. So we have you. You have very poor skills in anything except launches and throwing. Your attributes then must be good strength. Training wise, you need a better dexterity, better dexterity. Yeah, most of it is he just needs a better dexterity looking at things here. Still, I'm not at the point of wanting to send people out by themselves because things go wrong when you have one person trying to do everything. Any mission available near Churchill? This is why I wanted a second person. We're three days in and you know the number of missions we've had to do and the ability to get to them? Yeah, this is fun. Um... I haven't even got to the shooting down UFO side of this yet. I think this is going to be the last mission of this um, video. Yes, sir. Then we'll split it off. So we have Kung Pao and we have White Mage. Our mission... I keep clicking the wrong button for some reason. Eliminate three. Well, what do we have here? And there we have our first one. I'm going to move ourselves slightly closer before we go and shoot at him. Ready. Okay, not bad. Keep going. We will get guns with better damage output soon. Because we need them. The real problem will be when we have missions where we have to capture the things alive and we just can't keep them alive. Heads up. Okay, we have a cudgel with a handgun. Move into range, I think. Heads up. We'll take some shots. Okay, so we have our three. Heads up. And we're switching the burst fire while that thing's there. They almost got me. Good to go. Okay. I hear you. White Mage moves across and shoots. Yes. And Cloud sir. moves across and shoots. Mission successful, but I might as well finish this one off because there's only the one. Yeah, at some point you really need to start shooting back at him. He went down. Okay. Well, we'll call that a mission there. Both soldiers gain a new level. And we gain another 5-7. Okay. So, leveling up then. Let's go and improve your intelligence. More damage to aliens is always good. Increases your psi power. Gives you better observation. Though I suppose it could make you very good at handguns, I suppose. Looking at rifle increases here, but I think whichever way I do it, the best thing to do right now then is to increase your willpower a bit. And in your case, you have heroic dexterity. It can go to super heroic, I believe, but I'll have to find a way of improving that further. Um, I mean, you, ben, yeah, I think that might be better.
I can't improve the handgun skill anymore for the moment, so let's go and improve your Yeah, we will improve the perception stat for now. Okay. So having done this mission, we should probably go and do that one as well. But that'll be next time. As you can see, we have sort of area which is kind of in our sphere of influence. Eventually, we'll get able to find bases in each of these, and that will hopefully expand our progress. As you can see in sort of the R&D development, we are 22 hours away from that. And we have a few research topics that are available. It does give us warning about what is available and what can be done. But until we get this set up, there's not really much else we can do. So I'm going to call that a video. Next time, more UFO Aftermath. Until then.